The cab corners of my truck were both the inner and the outer were worn out and uh, you could fit much more than a fist through them. In fact, cats and possums and things like that could go through them. So we decided that uh, we were going to try to make our own external cab corner. We weren't exactly aware yet of the internal one being so bad. And um, we tried to make it out of some Camaro quarter panel scrap that we had and you know, several hours later and quite a bit of frustration because we don't have like an English wheel and things like that, that, you know, we're kind of like the average guy's shop. We, we have a welder and we have an anvil and some hammers, but we weren't getting the shape that we wanted. Now we were trying to make old cab corners, but what, what happened? Well, that's the old we one. Gave, we tried we gave it a try. It, uh, it started to turn out all right, but it was starting to get to be a lot more work than what it was worth. Okay. Yeah. We found it instead of, you know, spending a few hours to make one and still having a lot of work to do afterwards, I just bought some new ones. It turned out that I got a uh, classic parts catalog in the mail recently and just for grins I looked it up and they were only 25 bucks so I said forget it, don't waste any more time and I ordered inners and outer uh, cab corners from them and they were in half an hour. They, they gave us plenty of material to work with um, and they fit very well and it, we didn't even have to take the bed off. It looks like you've cut out the hole that you want the cab corner to go into. Well, the only thing that we ended up taking off the truck was the running boards and to stay from keeping, you know, from keep taking the bed apart and taking yeah. the bed off, I went ahead and cut around just the rusted area so we didn't have to uh, take the bed off so I could still get to everywhere to weld. Okay, so now we have the hole, and you're making the cab corner fit in that hole? Yes. First off, actually, I'm, I'm making the inner cab corner. We did replace it with a new one on the other side, but this side was only rusted up to about here. I'm starting to find a little more, and probably should have got another one, but I went ahead and used what we had left of our cab corner to fill in that space. Most of the cab corner in the bottom part um, was the problem. And um, how did you determine how high up to cut on the actual cab corner? Well first all I did was I cut the rust out. Okay. I took the new cab corner and set it up there and from the inside traced the hole on the inside of the cab corner and uh, once I cut it out I knew that it would uh, sit up there and be in the right spot. noticed that there's primer now on my cab corner. What happened? Well, we went ahead and we finished it up. We got, uh, got it all welded in. We went ahead and put body filler on it, smoothed it out, and we went ahead and primed it. Okay, so how was the, um, the cab corner fit in fine, the way you fixed it, you shaped it, and then you MIG welded it in. Yes. And then you sprayed, uh, you spread body filler on it, right? Mm -hmm. And then how, do, how much did you sand that? Uh, I just merely blocked it down until it was uh, just to fill in the little space between the uh, welding and the grinding. Okay, and then just you just... A skim coat. Okay, skim just a skim coat. coat. So there was no major big crash right. dent. Okay. And then you put the primer on there, and there's a little black speckle, so that's a guide coat, right? Right. And why do you put guide coat on? Well, guide coat's put on for two reasons, actually. A lot of people think it's just put on for, you know, when you black sand it, it'll show you all your low spots. That, that's the main reason. But another reason, though, is primer has to have a certain mill to accept paint for a proper adhesion. Right. By sanding the guide coat off, you know once the guide coat's gone, you only have so much left before your mills are too thin to where the paint might not adhere properly to the metal. Okay. So, but we're not going to paint it. We're going to leave it primered, right? Right. Okay. And that's just keeping with our low buck build deal and both passenger and driver got replaced and it was a really easy repair.